This video is how to remove and clear the pump rotors on a dish drawer. First thing you need to do is remove these baskets. Now this main one here can't lift out due to that dispenser there so the key is to kind of get it up on a 45 degree angle like that and lift it out. The spray arm just lifts off. When you're putting it back together it's very important that this arm sits back on fully and locks and doesn't actually lock but sits down into the right spot. You can't just have it sitting on there haphazardly. If that's not on properly then it can't measure the water level properly. If you've got any broken glass or anything around in here, this is often where you'll find some of it stopped. Be very careful with your fingers because you could end up cutting yourself if you just stick your fingers in there. This ring turns counterclockwise, it's like a bayonet clip here. And this lifts off. O-ring, keep that aside for later. And again, this pump turns counterclockwise just a little bit and lifts out. This is the actual part of the pump, and the bottom here you might have against the careful sticking your fingers in, while a broken glass or um, a blockage or something like that. Now, when you're putting it back together again, after you've given it a clean and checked, there's nothing blocking here or here. The important thing is to look is that in this, there are three grooves here, and then a fourth half groove here. On the pump rotor, there's three long legs, and a fourth little half leg. It's very important that that leg is in the right place, um, you can't just jam this in any old how. How I do it is I put my thumb on that short leg. I look here, I've got the three evenly spaced grooves, I've got the small groove here. So with my thumb there, I'm just going to make sure it's about the right spot. And if I get it right, which I have because I've done it a few times, it just drops straight into place. If you are feeling around, then what you'll find is it's not going to want to sit down. In which case, just turning this won't change anything because those legs are, are jammed. You need to be turning the leg here because you've got three different things you've got the outer part i'm holding here you've got the rotor and then you've got the um the locating spigots there so it's important to have your thumb on one of those legs and make sure that they're going into the right gaps drop it down this then rotates it'll drop down one more step and lock and now it's just a case of reassembling our ring goes back on we're putting this in there is a, a bit of a loop there that's got to sit in the right place here. And then when we're putting this one on, it's quite important to make sure that there are these three notches. Make sure that sitting down, all three of them are sliding underneath the rotor. Spray arm sits on, as I said, that needs to be on there so it can measure the water level. And then the filter. It pays to check these filters every now and then, depending on how often the dishwasher is being run. Just make sure that there's anything um, cleaned out from there after a cycle. If you look at that, there's a really big holes on that black part of the filter. So if you have a piece of broken glass, it can quite easily get through there, and then it will get through. I think I can feel something in there. This one needs a proper clean out. It'll get through. There's a small tube that runs in here to the bottom of that pump, and then goes out the drain. So it doesn't take much time to get into that pump or to block it. So it's important to clear this because if there's stuff floating around in there, it won't take much for it to get through. So you kind of need to clear that out. You really need to check it every cycle um, or every few cycles to make sure it's clean. When putting this in, once again, it's not going to go because of that there and that there. So front right hand corner lowest and then the back right hand and the front left going in together and then rotate. If these here are slid up towards near their highest point, uh, you don't want them sitting up above the lip of the drawer, but if they're up to the highest point, that gives you the most clearance. Power it back on, give it a run. If the dishwasher is not draining out, then hopefully you've cleared it out or it's making lots of noise. Give it a test run and make sure it's good. Only other thing to be aware of in these dish drawers is that if they've been sitting off for a long period of time, we're talking about several weeks or months, and all the water that's in the base there is dried up, then the pump will be quite noisy or squawk because it needs a little bit of water there for lubrication in which case you can just pour a couple of glasses of water in and that will shut it up pretty quick uh, if it doesn't then there's probably something more than just being dry